We talk a lot here at Nomad Capitalist about how to keep more of the money that you make from your business and from your investments by living in countries where you can enjoy a great life but with a lower cost of living or by reducing or even eliminating the amount of taxes that you pay and you can put that money back to work. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about something different. I'm going to share with you how I had my best financial year ever and how it had nothing to do with paying less taxes or cutting costs. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson, and if you'd like to learn how my team and I can personally help you create your own Nomad Capitalist strategy, you can go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn how we can help. But I want to share with you in this video a reflection uh, and some deeper thoughts that I've gathered over 12 years of creating and researching what is now the Nomad Capitalist lifestyle. And you know, 12 years ago, there was not nearly as much material out there on how to be a digital nomad or you know how high net worth individuals could go and do things like get second passports. I had to create a lot of this stuff myself over the years. And you know, my goal when I started traveling around the world and noticing that things operated differently, noticing that certain countries paid higher interest rates on bank deposits, noticing that certain countries were more easy to do business or had lighter paperwork, noticing that certain countries just seemed more welcoming and more friendly to me, places that I would want to live more, uh, that really opened up my eyes, and it's what really began Nomad Capitalist. And as I did all that traveling, I asked myself, well, what about taxes? And I realized, yeah, there are legal ways that if you're not in the United States, or if you're not in your home country very much, uh, you can legally uh, reduce your taxes. And that's what we've really talked about a lot here over the years. But I think what was more impactful on me, potentially even than that, was knowing that when I left the United States, when I had finally ended the long-term traveling that I was doing, and I put my house up for sale, uh, and I started traveling out of a suitcase with no intention to return. Somehow I started doing better. I had run businesses in the United States, and they had done pretty well, but as I talk about, uh, I was in a sort of bubble where my friends were other business owners, and I don't think any of them made more money than I did, so I felt pretty comfortable. And I felt like, you know, I was the guy who was who is the winner. I was like the smart guy in the room. And anyone knows that being one of the smarter people in the room means you're in the wrong room. But when I left the United States and, and started traveling, I was forced to open my mind. And what I found was that you know, challenging yourself begets more challenging yourself. As I traveled, I used this platform of Nomad Capitalist back when it was not a business, but just a blog. Uh, to go out and meet people like the CEOs of, of banks. I remember sitting in Vietnam and with the CEO of one of the largest banks in the region and telling me about all the things they were, they were doing. Uh, I met with a lot of influential people. And I met some mentors. And I learned how people were doing things around the world and how the money that I was making in the United States that I thought I was doing great really was nothing in comparison. I started traveling, uh, especially throughout Asia, and learning you know, in this 21st century, you know, Asian boom, um, that I was actually, you know, pretty poor in comparison. It was a humbling thing. But, you know, I kept learning, I kept growing, and because I was, you know, being forced to analyze myself, being in these different cultures, I consistently found things that I could improve in my own life. I found things that I could improve in my business. I was surrounded by uh, not only people who were doing great things in the world, but the people that I was surrounded by from my own culture were living their lives very intentionally. You know, there's a difference between sitting in Austin in the United States and being surrounded by people who kind of share your values and, and, and everyone kind of echoes each other, and going overseas and meeting people who are living and uh, doing business very intentionally. And by doing that, uh, I really just, you know, again, constantly had to evaluate everything that I was doing. I think the benefit of that is that the self-awareness that you build by living the nomad capitalist lifestyle is going to challenge you to do greater and greater things. It's going to challenge you to eliminate sacred cows. It's going to challenge you to say, no, what I'm doing right now, whatever that income level is, it's not good enough. I can do more. And so that's the first benefit that I think you'll open up to really improving your business. Simply by doing one thing that challenges you, you'll start challenging yourself 
in other ways. For me personally, being outside of the United States in a culture that I felt not only was uncomfortable to me personally, um, you know, uh, dating was more difficult. Um, I had entrepreneurial friends, but I just didn't really feel connected with the average person. Uh, I felt like a capitalist like myself. Well, it was increasingly a dirty word. It was you know, capitalism has become a bad thing in many Western countries. I just didn't feel like it was a place for me anymore. It might have been a place for someone like me a hundred years ago, but today uh, a person like myself just doesn't really fit in there as much. And so the other benefit of doing all this traveling was I got to fit in in, in, uh, in environments where I was more welcomed, where I said, wow, this feels a lot better. It just, it just feels right. It's like a shirt that fits perfectly. I said, wow, this is great. And by solving that kind of inner turmoil, by solving um, some of those pieces that just weren't working for me, there, it was like the tension just melted off and it freed me to just focus more on doing the stuff that I was good at. You know, things just clicked. And I think when things click, you go out and you do better. My best financial years ever, though, came um, in the last couple years. Uh, I expatriated from the United States uh, a couple years ago. I had been gone for, for many years. I had barely spent any time back in the U.S. for the very reasons that I'm telling you about. Uh, but I still had that, that U.S. passport, and I still had to go places and say, hey, I'm an American. And I just felt a certain, like, because, because of all the reasons that I just didn't feel like it was the best country for me anymore. I just always felt in conflict. And so when I finally you know, summoned up the, the courage and, and put together the plan to say, you know what, I'm, I'm leaving for good, I'm expatriating, I said, here's your passport back. Something else opened up at a more deeper level. Because again, a tension, um, a, a chaos, a challenge within me was solved. And I think that when you do that, new opportunities uh, open up. Now, Obviously, we work with a lot of folks here who would like to return to their home countries at some point, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. You know, people come to me and say, hey, Andrew, I'd like to move overseas for 10 years, uh, make a bunch of money, save a bunch of money, uh, pay a lot less tax, and you know what? I want to go back to Australia. I want to go back to Canada. That's cool. If you want to do that, that's fine. What I, the message that I'm saying is I do think there are people out there who are confused who have a certain amount of turmoil without even potentially realizing it in some area of their life. It may not even be the financial. It may be that you like the country. Uh, it, may be, uh, it may be that you just feel like socially, you know, you don't have the best opportunities. A lot of guys come to me and say, like, it just, it just feels weird, like, going out and meeting people these days. You know, maybe there's a better place for me. I think that, you know, tax savings aside, cost of living savings aside, you know, those are ways to save money. I think that's very important. If you can, if you can make a million dollars a year and you can pocket an extra three hundred grand, that's millions of dollars of, of, you know, of extra money over just a decade. And, and imagine what you could do with that for for building your business, investing in your family, you know, creating generational wealth, you know, giving. But that's the saving side. I think the piece that I talk to people about that we don't talk about as much is what happens when you're freed up. What happens when you don't have a stack of tax forms this high to fill out? What happens when you're just feeling better inside? What happens when you're living somewhere where the weather is better? What happens when your relationships are in better order? What happens when you're just feeling totally at peace and that million dollars now becomes two million dollars? To me, that's the golden ticket that we don't talk about enough is you know, clearing up the things in your life and going where you're treated best is going to have an almost soulful impact on your ability to produce. And not only that, but when you are not giving half of your money away and feeling like you're a slave to the government, that's also going to help you. That's also going to release some tension and say, you know what, now I feel like I can work for it because now, you know, if I get to give them 9%, that's cool. I'm happy to give them 9%. I'm not happy to give them 50 but I'm happy to give them 9 And just knowing that your money is actually mostly your money again means that you can feel good. And so, you know, this is something that, you know, has led to my best years is clearing everything out. Uh, it's a little woo-woo, but I think it's important because being at peace with ourselves is the best way to create success. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. 
definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.